and we are live everybody hello hey. Hey. hey guys hi guys happy international women's day oh my god yay i'm so happy uh, that we are celebrating the International Women's Day today with such amazing, amazing women. Um, you probably know most of them or all of them. Um, let me introduce you to Al from Falk U. Hello. Stephanie. Hey. From, from a Stephanie Explains It All. Laura from Coda Girl. Hello. Nas from The Mind Designer. Hello. And Robin from Programmer. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. I'm so happy to talk to you, to all of you guys today. It's so incredible to have all of you in the same place. Uh, oh my God. Um, I wish you guys could um, hear our conversations before we went live. We we're just, you know, a bunch of crazy girls trying to figure out technology. <laughs> which is essentially um, basically the whole point of it all. Uh, but yeah, today we're doing a leadership exercise that will be led by Nas, who is a leadership expert. So Nas, should I? Yeah, to I guess you? I can take it away. I don't want it, like us to go on forever, which we totally can on this topic. So I'm just going to get right into it. Um, so I know that I don't know all of you personally, but I've spoken with a couple of you, and I know that we're sort of all really into this whole thing of um, creating goals and sort of having tasks. And I know that some of us really love lists. I myself love crossing things off lists and really um, appreciate the like the visual that I that I can have of my goals and things that I do throughout my day. But the one thing that I feel like a lot of people don't spend a lot of time on or sometimes don't even really think about because, you know, statements are really often thought of as something that uh, organizations and companies should have. Uh, and we often forget that that's something that we all really should have for ourselves personally, because it's not it's more about than just the everyday to do's. It's really more about something that if you are looking for a new job or if you are starting a new project or if you're feeling a little bit weird about what you're doing you can always look at that personal mission statement and go that's eventually where i'm gonna go that's what i'm doing my work for that's why i wake up every day so it'd be really cool to like walk this walk through this exercise with you all today and just ask first that you not be afraid of sharing because this is kind of why we're here and not be afraid of being er earnest i feel like a lot of people are really scared of earnestness and we tend to make fun of earnestness nowadays and we just don't where we don't feel really comfortable with people being genuine so this exercise is kind of going to ask of that from us so if we're cool with being open and honest and earnest then i think we're going to have a lot of fun so, wow. um, sounds good so if you're ready to get started, um, okay, so the very first thing, if you all have your pen and papers ready, um, oh my God. Is the first goal. and just I just want you all to start by listing um, at least three, or at least one, obviously, but at least three things that you want most out of life. And this is where I talk about like earnestness, because it's like, oh, this is so broad, what do I, I feel like, who knows what I want most out of life. But what I really mean is at the core, um, what do you really want personally and emotionally out of life? And this is where it gets a little funny when we talk, we talk about sharing, right? Um, so I'll give you all like a few moments for thinking about that. And I'll write it down myself. I've done mine before, but it's been a little bit of time. So I think it would be fun to do this exercise as well. Um, so I kind of just write my things out loud and whoever wants to share too, they can. So, but I'll, I'll go first. So one of the first things that I know for sure that I want most out of life is to, like a lot of people know that I have had um, an impact, right? Um, have had an impact in helping other people and helping people um, find their voice. That's one of my biggest missions is helping people find their voice. Um, so that's something that's going to go on my list. Mm. Anybody else has anything they want to share? 
I just asked the people in the chat to help me out because I'm blanking out. <laughs> or if they have any ideas to, it'd be great to see. Yeah. Um, I'll go. Yeah. So one thing that I want is um, support, like uh, emotional support, which is definitely something I'm very lucky to receive. And um, it's definitely something that I want and need out of life. That's huge. We, yeah, we tend to really kind of disregard that. I think a lot of men disregard that too, which is unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's um, it's really like a mutual um, give and take in a relationship. Not even a give and take, but just like a give and then you receive. And um, it really allows you to flourish as a person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. That's very true. Uh, to be honest, um, I have to say on that, a lot of people have trouble uh, looking for support, me included. I had a knee surgery in 2017, and I remember really struggling asking people for help and support mm -hmm. just to help me, you know, do grocery shopping because I couldn't because I was on crutches. So I completely agree with that. I think that's a very, very um, important thing. Being able to ask for that. Asking for help can be really tough for a lot of us too yeah. when we're so used to doing everything ourselves. Yeah. yeah, I kind of want to uh, just stem off of uh, what Naz said um, is making an impact. That's something that's really important to me. And I kind of want it to be like in a way that it's like a chain of influence so that like the people I impact are able to make an impact on others. And that way it like there's a larger influence and like, I guess the world becomes like a better place faster. And um, and like, I guess in just in terms of what would make me happy in regards to my interests. Like, I mean, you all know me. So like, I think that I would, my goal is to help other women like find their kind of um, erotic power within themselves so that it contributes to their confidence in other areas of your life. And this doesn't necessarily mean like, you know, something that's related to sex or like penetration or anything like that, but just finding like your sexy self so that like you feel good about yourself and when you feel good about yourself you're a light for other people awesome that's so cool <laughs> yeah. hell yeah that's so proud of you yeah. well, i can go next i can think of something but um i have a very good friend who i asked like a few years back i was in college and i was very ambitious student trying to get my finish my computer science degree and be like i'm done i'm gonna get a really good job yada 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 and I asked her, like, well, what do you want to do? What, what's next? And she said, I just want to be happy. And I remember I was like, I was like speechless because it was such a simple answer, but it was so deep at the same time, right? Because like everyone's definition of happiness is different. And like striving to be happy is actually really hard. So that's my mission. I want to be happy. Right, that's what I was just about to say. It doesn't have to be something deep. You don't have to say you want to, you know, yeah, completely change the world. But if you just say, hey, my mission in life is to be a gazillionaire, that's perfectly acceptable too, just as it is to say you want to be someone that promotes, uh, you know, sexual health and finding people finding their voices. So whatever it resonates with you is what you should put down on this list. But yeah, three simple things. I think is just where we start. Um, so, so that's my number so one. That's my number Happy one. Happy Cool. <laughs> that's what I, that's have, what as I well. have as well. Um, um, so so I think that happiness, in my case, is meaningful relationships with my friends and family because without them, and that goes back to the support um, statement, you don't have the support network. You don't have that warm feeling um so international women's day is a huge huge thing in russia we get a day off for it i'm not kidding it's started in the soviet time and um this day i call everybody in my family and just listening to their voices made me happy because it's a meaningful relationship it makes you happy because these people just bring you warmth and put a smile on your face oh, that's so nice <laughs> um, so once we all have that down, we can move on to the next part. And this one is going to be 
uh, listing at least three things that you want to experience in your lifetime. And this, again, just as with the first thing, it can be as broad or as specific as you want. So it could be like, I want to see flying cars in my lifetime, or I want to, um, you know, anything that's global or local or in any aspect of your life, just life, anything that you want to see, three things that you'd like to see happen, or I think three things that you'd like to experience in your lifetime. Start mine. Mm, this one's tough. Yeah. Oh, I, know. I know exactly what I'm, I want to see people in Mars. <laughs> okay. That's awesome. One. Wait, people on Mars or <laughs> like people in Mars who live there and they're kind of locals and chat to them? No, sorry. Yeah, what's the nearest coffee people, shop? Earthlings who move to Mars. Uh huh. I like that. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm yeah, ready to take the. What were you saying? I was gonna say my thing is all electric cars. I'm really into that. Just everyone getting rid of that. Yeah. yeah, that's um I totally agree. Um so something I've I've always really wanted is um you know a world where a generation of girls or anyone grows up not thinking that they're not being told or um learning that they're less or that they can't do certain things because of who they are. Um, I It was a really rude awakening growing up and realizing that we lived in that world because I grew up in a home where like my mom is um, in charge. So um, I didn't know that like we lived in this like patriarchal society and it was like a rude awakening. Like the first time I like experienced sexism like in elementary school. So I like, I really dream of like a time when like Girls are born and they never have to experience those sentiments. Those sentiments. Mm, that's huge. Yeah, I was going to ask you remember the moment when you first experienced that and realized that you're, you're, you're a world, world, what a world, what a world. Is it me or the sound? Am I today? Am I today? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sorry, what were you saying? I was just going to ask, but I think you kind of answered. Like, yeah. do you remember the moment when you realized that? your home mm -hmm. world wasn't like what the world was like i was in elementary school and it was alarming wow yeah that's that's really early yeah and we already see that right i mean i keep reading different studies and things with children and realizing that as young as you know three or four boys already assume that they're the leaders and girls already ask for boys help so it's so ingrained in us and, and it goes it goes further than that too, because it's also a matter of if you are a leader as a woman, you were shunned mm -hmm. because that wasn't a quality that you were supposed to take on. Or yeah. if you were an overachiever, um, and having to like experience the repercussions of it was um, was is bizarre, and it's just like it's it's not logical. It doesn't make sense to me. It's also not in us to know how to respond to women like that. It's, yeah, it's not just a matter of, yeah, us growing up thinking that we have to shy away from things or thinking that we're gonna be viewed in a certain way because we're trying to be leaders. It's also about the fact that if we do get to that position, people around us don't necessarily know how to deal with that. Mm, yeah. Uh, so yeah, it's kind of a two way thing that we all have to work on. Yeah. Raising better boys and better girls. That's true. That's true because it has to be a two-way street. Both people, both sides, need to know how to deal with this. Yeah. Um, yeah. Agree. That's really good. One of your three things. Um, Thank you. Does anybody else want to share? I would say. Um, so I don't know how to put this in words, but basically, I started off with seeing a world where you don't need visas to travel or you know <laughs> you know it's my issue um yeah. <laughs> uh, visas here, here. To, to travel or to work somewhere else uh, but also then it kind of got me thinking about the world that is right now and about the politics and how everything is so selfish and not centered around the people who really need that and i would love to see politics that doesn't involve politics, if that makes sense. Um, politics that is for the good of humanity, not for, you know, oh my God, 
um, I'm going to create a company and register on my wife or sister or whatever, and they're going to benefit from the political decisions I'm making. Yay! So I really um, would love to see a world without those kind of thinking, uh, that, that kind of thinking process. Yeah, I'll take a global citizenship. Oh yeah, <laughs> when are they gonna start giving out those passports? <laughs> I'll be the first one in line. <laughs> Um, I'll share another one of my three things so we can kind of shift away from the global. Um, in my own personal life, I definitely want to experience um, living in as many continents as I possibly can. That's one of mine. Yeah, that's that. Me too. So, what's like if you could right now, where would you go? Well, right now I'm in the middle of planning my move. So in November, the plan is to move to Portugal, but I'm originally from Brazil. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. But then, okay, but now if you said in every continent, so just continents or like? Not every country, but every continent at least, because I know there's too many con continents. No, yeah, continent, yeah. That's cool. So I've done South America, North America, I know that's kind of technically the same thing, and then um, Europe I've done briefly, but not as long as I want to so going back there um wouldn't mind spending some time in africa because at what least about australia yeah so i know really? i definitely want australia for sure. <laughs> <laughs> on the list um and yeah. definitely antarctica <laughs> yeah. oh I, was like, I was like i'm gonna say all but i don't know if i can make it there. i'm brazilian so my blood doesn't run that cold <laughs> <laughs> laura we haven't heard from you why don't you share yours yeah um one of the things that i think uh, that I'm excited, I'm not necessarily to experience, but to see is um, to, I'm, the way that technology and medicine start to um, integrate more and just advance. Um, I'm really excited for that, and that kind of stuff excites me, and I hope to participate. And, yeah. Hey. yeah, there's so many advancements, right? And I think it's kind of wild the things that we're gonna be able to do um, to our bodies with the, with you know, different technologies, it's really amazing. Yeah. So uh, um, let's see, who hasn't shared this one yet? And I think we've all gone through it, right? No, Al, have you heard from you? <laughs> no. <laughs> we want to hear. <laughs> um, some cool things I'd like to see in the future. Um, aliens would be really cool. Uh, uh, wait, were we talking like five years or just like well, experience in your lifetime? Oh, experience in my lifetime. Okay, aliens <laughs> and <laughs> um, just seeing uh, you know, women and um, non-binary people not being afraid to be themselves and express themselves like without fear. And I think that's something that we're we're all working towards. I think there's an echo. I can hear myself. Yeah, there's it's not bad. It's not bad. Oh. oh. <laughs> okay. Um, but um, yeah, I think that's something that's really important in making everyone comfortable and making the tech community inclusive. So I think our voices are starting to definitely be heard. And that's something that's really important to me and I know important to others. And I think that, you know, us speaking on that is definitely going to have like a huge impact and influence on other people and make them start thinking about it as well. So, yeah, diversity and inclusivity in tech is something I want to see. I want to see. Yeah, that's a big one for all of us, I think. It's so, um, again, it goes back to what we're talking about sexism and the patriarch patriarchy that we live in right now. Um, it's the same thing in, in our world. We can have as much diversity as we want, but it doesn't mean that we all know how to work with each other, right? So we kind of need to have that education in place and that's something that is gonna take at least a lifetime. Like, um, hopefully. Totally. <laughs> Unfortunately, it takes time. So um, I know it's kind of a weird interruption, but Masha, I sent us the new link. I don't know if you wanna drop that in so everyone you guys I'm on can it. open this document and you can follow along with us and create your own personal statement as we are doing it. That's awesome. um, 
So, so yeah, I've just tried to edit the, the link. Everybody who's watching us, uh, you will be able to access that doc as well. Um, but for some reason, it's giving me a uh, server errors. Oh no, it got just got um, saved. So guys, whoever is watching, you can probably refresh the page and it will give you a link uh, right in the description. It will be right where it says link, um, exclamation point, that's the link uh, we are using. <clears throat> okay. Do we also open this link? If you want to, if you if you don't want to work on a pen, on a pen and paper, it's, but it's just everything I'm walking you through. Oh, okay, awesome. And it's it's a good guide for everybody who's watching us. If you guys want to um, also use that. Oh, next exercise. time, shout out to Argentina, Argentina, India, India. Belgium, and New York City, New York, Morocco. Everyone from all over the world are watching us right now. This is so exciting. Thanks for watching. That's awesome. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> Hey guys. Yeah, I love all the places. Um, especially Morocco. Yeah, that's I mean I love that place so much. Of the um, food. So good. Um let's see here. So the next step is again another three things. Uh we're gonna list three things that um you believe make you unique. And I know we've all gone through this exercise, so let's let's go through it. We've gotta go there. Talk about ourselves and feel good about what we do have to offer. So three things that make us unique. And I can already say our ability to connect with other people within our industries, that makes us unique. Here we are um, being open and sharing our points of view. And then the other thing that for me I'm putting out on my list is non-judgment. Um, I'm really good nowadays. I mean, it took me years to work up to this point, but now I can very easily look at someone or look at a situation and put myself in their shoes and understand where they're coming from and really find a way to step away from that place of judgment and put myself there. So that I think does make me unique. Yeah. We've already spoken about this um, in a live, uh, last live stream, so I actually used one of the qualities from that, uh, adaptability, because I think that is um, pretty important in life, and uh, whether you're adapting to a new uh, work environment or just a new place, for example, moving to Europe. Uh, it also takes uh, some adaptation skills. So I think that is something that is pretty unique about me, having this is this being my fifth country to uh, live in and having left home when I was 14. So I would stick with that one for now. Cool. Yeah, I always love that one. Yeah, resilience, I'm really proud of that too. I think it comes from the same place as you, Masha, moving around, having to sort of make it work. So yeah, that's huge. For me, one of mine was creativity. Um, I think, uh, yeah, I sometimes get lost in my thoughts and zone out when people are talking to me because I'm going odd places. But I also love my creativity, and um, it's definitely something I think makes me unique. Nice. Yeah, that's kind of good. It's a good good thing for you to know that you have that because <laughs> a lot of people don't realize that they actually are creative. Uh, so to have that awareness is here. I feel like this is such a hard ex exercise just because like, I, I feel like we're taught a lot to like be humble and not really like celebrate like our good qualities, you know? Mm -hmm. So I feel like I'm, this is something that I'm really struggling with. Yeah, but yeah, this is what I said in my comments last night. I was like, I hope you're all ready to get raw because this is where it's really hard for people, right? To say, like, these are the things that I really like about myself. These are the big things that I have that I want to see in the world. These are the big goals that I have in my life. Mm -hmm. I don't feel comfortable sharing those things. Or yeah. Else to think of those. Um, okay, I like that. Like, I'm, I'm very blunt. Nice. 
and I like just like being open about everything so that people don't have to like sift through the fluff when they talk to me. I don't like, you know, beating around the bush or like being indirect with someone. So I, and I respect that in the relationships that I have with other people too. Like I, I kind of expect them to be open with me as well. Um, so that's one thing that I like about myself. Nice. <laughs> um, I guess one thing I uh, really like about myself or something that's uh, just got dark in here. Um, that mood, that nighttime setting. Sorry, guys. Um, so thanks, babe. <laughs> um, I'm, I have this like amazing hyper focus kind of ability um, that really makes me unique where I could really just spend like hours on time doing one thing. Um, and I really like to apply that to like the work that I do. So it, um, it really, it really works out. <laughs> That's so rare. <laughs> Seriously. And especially good for your Yeah. You know, this exercise is very, very difficult. We did a um, a training at Google, which was called Stretch, and it was uh, basically stretch yourself. And one of the things we had to do is um, finish a phrase. I'm remarkable because, and this is exactly what we're doing. And people sometimes had tears in their eyes when they were talking about how remarkable, why they're remarkable. So it's, and um, people in the comments have already noticed um, it's just so noted. It's so important to uh, remind yourself why you are remarkable and why you're unique. It's uh, awesome. Sorry. I was just wondering. I, I was just finding the link to the comments because I wanted to watch it too. <laughs> I'll send it in our little chat. Perfect. Yeah, and this is what I'm. This is what I said in the very beginning, right? People have a really tough time with earnestness. People like to make fun of earnestness. People like to look down at earnestness. And when we try to be really honest and open, people just really have like a really hard time with that. And <laughs> people get really uncomfortable. So it's really funny to see the responses that people have to this stuff. Um, our second one, if people are being, uh, I guess it's not as much of a problem for me, but uh, my second one, and I related to what you said with resilience, is that I think something that makes me unique, right? Yeah. Is a lot. Um, I think I have a strong. I get very passionate and driven and like focused on something, and and can be like stuck on it in a, in a good way, like being passionate and driven. Awesome. Cool. Yeah, I'm liking all this stuff. Um, so I think we, we can jump to the very last one, and then we can actually create this in a good way. Like, being, let me see. The very last part is again list of things um and this is kind of funny right so this personal this personal statement that we're creating today um actually is a good jumping off point if you're feeling any kind of stuckness anywhere so with this last part i just want you to list three um improvements or positive actions or anything that you can do in the next two weeks um yeah, anything in relation, in relation to anything, anything that you can accomplish in two weeks. Like I said, improvement. Three things. Yeah, two weeks. Yeah. Three things. Three things in two weeks. All right. So you can just start with like, I can do such and such thing. I can do such and such thing. <laughs> All of a sudden, everybody's gone very quiet. Because this is hard because the other ones are a little bit broader. You could probably think of something pretty quickly. But now it's like, what could I do in two weeks to actually change my life, right? I can start. Oh, so this is something that would change your life. Or like anything that you can start in the next two weeks that you would feel like you're propelling something forward. Like I can reach out to one person in this field to and start this new project that I've been wanting to start. Or I can put a post to post to people about X, Y, and Z. So anyway. I don't have the three things yet, but I've thought of the first one so I can start well. You know, yeah. just uh, so that we can start the discussion while, um, you know, other ideas are popping up. Um, so 
and to my point about meaningful relationships and friends and family, um, sometimes they get so caught up in uh, work that I don't have time to message my family and they're really far away. They're 10 hours apart in time difference, et cetera, et cetera. So b I can start blocking off time on my calendar to actually dedicate to invest in those relationships to make sure i'm messaging those people and yes maybe it does feel a little weird because if you're putting someone on your calendar it's kind of like a work thing but then it's your family or friends but i mean in a modern day life in a modern life it's um sometimes very important to kind of block that on your calendar to make sure you have time, make sure you have that time. It doesn't mean that you're not putting in thought into contacting them, but it's it just means that you have that time to put in thought there and then. Yeah, but even just the thought that you have to make an excuse to how you're approaching this, it tells something, right? It's like, no, this is just how my life is nowadays and that's how it is. Unfortunately, yeah. it's it's true. Like this baby keeps on popping up notifications about the meetings that are coming up, and yeah, no, <laughs> I can't make time for family. That's huge. Hey guys, I never said anything anything unique about me. Oh, oh yeah, because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was still thinking. <laughs> No, I just know that I have a hole in my eye. I have a hole in my retina, and I think that's pretty unique. Even my doctor says, you're the youngest person with a hole in the retina. Mm -hmm. I have a hole in my retina right here, and it's really weird. And I scared, I'm scared of going blind in one eye. But that makes me live life at the fullest. Fullest? Fullest? Whatever. Yeah. That's, that's unique. <laughs> Wow. And, and one thing that I want to do in two weeks, I want to pay attention when I'm supposed to pay attention. <laughs> okay. okay. Mm. That's a good thing. Yeah, it's really rough, like, paying attention when a lot of things are happening and then you're thinking, like, oh, what should I answer about this? And then you come back and you're like, uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Being able to filter out noise, noise. and the right things to prioritize. It's an art. An art. Agreed. Oh. Absolutely agreed. One yes. of the things that I've been wanting to do for two weeks, which is, it, does this have to be related to our to <laughs> missions we have, or can it be just like anything we would like? It's to life. This is what we're doing your life thing. So, whatever life thing you want to do in that. Okay, well, I, it's not gonna happen, but I would like to at some point learn like um, to do some sort of like like, uh, like self-defense course. I don't know quite how it would work, um, like what the most effective thing to do is in two weeks, but I feel like if you really dedicate yourself in two weeks, you can learn some basics, so that's one thing. Nice, that's awesome. Yeah, I know a couple of people that teach Krav Maga here. Oh, really? That's cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I can start a self-defense program. That's doable. At least start to look into it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll look at the one. Cool. Um, who else has anything ready? Um, I'll go. Uh, so, so something that I want to do in the next two weeks is that, like, I have all of these ideas, and I feel like my brain is, like, being like slime and just like I can't focus because I get so overwhelmed and like too ambitious I want to do everything at the same time so I think I want to choose one thing and accomplish that one thing in the next two weeks so that I can actually produce something and move on to the next thing instead of just like getting overwhelmed and doing nothing yeah. 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 I can definitely relate to that I think and today I was talking about um how food relates to that. So a lot of times that's my thing. And then I can start to figure out which um, what's what's really affecting me and maybe finding out if food could be something that's affecting my focus. Um, because I know that a lot of times I have friends who have switched up their diets and have made a huge difference in their lives. Um, and it's not the same thing for everyone. It's just one thing, one person realizes that it's coffee for them, and the other person realizes it's sugar, and one realizes that it's uh, gluten or whatever it may be. Yeah, that's such a good idea. I definitely noticed like when I switch up my diet that like 
I need less sleep. I feel more energized. I just feel so much better. I can focus better. So that's a really good idea. And sleep, that's another one I would put on. Oh, yeah, sleep. That's on, that's on my list. Get enough sleep. <laughs> but, like, that's yeah. all I do. So important. Um, so one of the things I was going to share that's on my list is um, really want to catch back up, like on my laundry and my cleaning. You know, I've been like um, working on weekends or like going home to visit my parents, and like I have so much laundry just everywhere, and it's just like I'm never home because I like wait. I want to work more than eight hours. I love working, so I really want to catch back up. <laughs> this huge laundry. <laughs> yeah, you really know you feel caught up when when your laundry basket is empty. <laughs> your laundry and your inbox. Yes, there's nothing like that. That's cool. like a big thing. Every Sunday I try to get there. Yes, you guys are goals. I gotta get there <laughs> eventually. No, no, it means it doesn't mean that I have that. No, my oh, okay. right now and my inbox. <laughs> oh my god, let's all get started. <laughs> all, all fifteen right. of them. Are you like an inbox fifteen person though, or like fifteen hundred? Because there's a difference. Like a constant two digits is different than. Yeah, I have the you know the promo filter and the whatever filter. So only the important stuff. I really try to have it in single digits but, I, but the rest i just don't single digits yeah. <laughs> what's mine right now mine is at 120 but i'm gonna have to get through it tonight and bring it down to like 20 but 120 yeah oh my god yeah i thought two digits was crazy but one digit it's not no. that's cool <laughs> um all right so are we all kind of in a good spot because then I can take us to the to the okay. So if we all have at least three things on this the on this three things on all of the four things that, that we went over. So okay, so now what we're gonna do is really simple. So we just go in through the list and circle or underline um, your top item on that, right? So out of the three things that you created for each category, just circle or underline the one that you think is most important to you. I want to see people in Mars. <laughs> <laughs> That's most important to you. Circle it up. <laughs> oh my god, it's so difficult. How do you choose between happiness, a career, and uh, <laughs> your experiences? Jesus. I'm sure your gut told you something. Just listen to it. <laughs> I'm sure it all goes under the happiness category, so I'll just do that. Fact. <laughs> hmm. I think you should work on like two weeks on. Okay. All right, we'll just go with that. Okay. Um, so everybody's silent. Yeah, we're circling. <laughs> um, sorry, sorry guys for the silence. We're working very hard. I started, and I started scribbling my name a little bit. I'm, I'm chatting with the people in the chat. <laughs> but I have mine circled. I'm ready. I'm prioritizing. Okay. All right, so we're all ready. So, so now here's the, the final part where we create our stations, right? So it's really easy. Yeah. So you start writing a sentence with I will. So just write I will. And then you fill in the next part with whatever you did in the last part, which is in the next two weeks. So I will um, look into my, or, or start a new diet to help me focus. or at least I will start helping myself focus. And then after you put in that, you say using my, and then you use um, whatever you put in on the things that make you unique, whatever you circle that makes you unique. So I circled, 
my non-judgment. So using my non-judgment. So in this case, it's probably going to be not not judging myself. So non-self-judgment. And then you put in, oh, to um, accomplish. And then you put in whatever you put in the second exercise, which was um, uh, the thing you like to experience in your lifetime. So I've done this before. And of course, sometimes it doesn't always work because you go, wait, that's not super related. But you can always go back and switch it up. <laughs> OK. And then in doing so, also achieve whatever is in column one, which is going to be career or happiness or whatever you guys have it. Mm -hmm. One. So to accomplish blank, um, and then what's the connecting word there? Uh, oh, and in doing so, also achieve whatever oh, that's called. Thank you. We'll be back with you all in a moment. <laughs> mine is so weird. Yeah, mine. Well, you know, you know what? It's so funny because sometimes they come out so weird, but then you go, wait, if I don't take care of myself using my non-judgment, then I won't be doing any work to promote uh, the ubiquity of electric cars. So if I don't take care of myself, then I'm not doing my work properly, you know? And if I'm not doing my work properly, then I'm not evangelizing the stuff that I have for the higher goal. Um, and in doing so, also achieving, helping people find their voice. So it's so weird. It sounds like it's not related, but it's like, wait, actually kind of. <laughs> now try to uh, uh, get the same logic with, I will block out time in my calendar to, yeah. uh, to meet with my friends and family uh, using my creativity. <laughs> there you go, see? <laughs> <laughs> to accomplish world with no visas. <laughs> <laughs> and also achieve happiness. <laughs> The last ones to do make sense. But <laughs> Wait, what goes in the very final part of the sentence? And in doing so, also achieve whatever is in column one. Okay. I'm just going to read this uh, comment in the chat because I think it's awesome. Scott said, speaking of, we host an engineering challenge for high school STEM students at my work every year. This year, the winning team was all girls. And yes. I'm so proud they kicked boy butt. <laughs> Yay! Yay. Awesome. Uh, good job, Scott. Scott. Students. Yeah. So tell us more about it, Scott, in the chat. <laughs> what was a <the> challenge? <laughs> That's awesome. I got lost reading the comments. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, nothing, nothing much going on there. I will be learning karate. Wow, that was a hard word. I will be learning karate. Karate, no, self-defense. I will be learning self-defense using my creativity to build technology that makes an impact and help other people. <laughs> There's a jump somewhere around there. <laughs> there is, but you can bring logic in there, and you can, after a glass of wine or two, you can really rationalize right. it. Masha, you're right. I just need to have a couple more glasses of wine. <laughs> exactly. So here's what I was gonna say. I feel like I we kind of mixed up. I do two of these. I do one that's just career focused and one that's literally just life, not talking about career at all. So I, maybe we kind of mix both of them in here. Well, whatever. Like we said, yeah. after a glass of wine or two, you can work it all in and <laughs> make it work. <laughs> well, I um, there's when I don't circle the most. Oh, but I have to circle the one that I like the most because I could also say I will get familiar with this one technology that will using my creativity that will help me build technology that makes an impact to help other people. And that one makes a lot of damn sense. So <laughs> and it'll probably like a, an amazing mission statement for me. So cool. Awesome. Yeah.
Who wants to share theirs? Uh, I'll share mine because honestly, mine is funny and I apologize if it feels like I didn't follow the exercise the right way, but I just want to share it because it's extremely funny. Um, <laughs> I will be happy using my hole in my retina. No, 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 no. People no. on Mars. In the next, what are you doing the next two weeks? Oh, oh. to see, to, I can pay attention. Oh, okay. So, so it's, I, I will, whatever you're doing the next two weeks. Oh, I messed up. <laughs> no, there's no messing up. Wait, can you explain the whole thing again? It's I will whatever I'm doing in the next two weeks because I also have the attention problem, uh, Stephanie. <laughs> so <laughs> you too. <laughs> Me too. So let's start over. I will whatever you're doing in the next two weeks to whatever is in column three, which was things that believe that you believe may keep you. Oh, I will whatever you're doing the next two weeks using my whatever you think makes you unique to whatever you want to experience in your lifetime. Um, and in doing so also achieve. Oh, okay. Okay. Got it. <laughs> oh no, it makes no sense. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it says, it says, I will be paying attention using my hole in my retina to see people on Mars, and in doing so, I can be happy. Yeah. Both those things will make you happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I like it, though. <laughs> and I think, you know, even if it's funny, this is for you. This is your own personal statement. So who cares if you find a uh, you know, a solution to getting people to Mars while still looking on your eye and it doesn't make any sense to other people, but if it's up on your computer somewhere, if it's up on your computer somewhere, you, every time you look at it, you go, you know what? Yeah, that kind of works for me. And it works for you. Yeah. The world with no visas. <laughs> the world with no visas. <laughs> you know, just taking your time to be thinking about these things and like, it's, I almost, yeah, I haven't done this exercise ever, I think, where I'm explicit with myself, and it's a lot of fun in all seriousness. Oh, thank you. Yeah. 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 Um, I think I got my, did Al, did you give your personal mission statement? No, but go, please go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Um, using my three, okay. I think I got it. I'm excited um, now. <laughs> so I actually circled things predominantly that I didn't necessarily share. So there were some of the other, you know, twos and threes on my list, but I will make more of a public presence. Um, I've kind of been shying away from social media lately um, in the next few weeks and doing so using my resiliency. Um, to accomplish um, the goal of inspiring more women to pursue programming and um, in doing so also achieve um, power. Awesome. Awesome, Robin. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that's a really good one. <laughs> I wanna see that one in writing again. <laughs> yeah, preach, I really liked it. Thanks, guys. Felt like you got to that place of like honesty and just like self awareness that I'm that I'm gonna definitely be reviewing with this and getting to. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Al, you ready? <laughs> oh, sure. Okay. I will. Wait, let me find the. Hold on, I need the temp. What do you have the template in front of you? I forget what it is. Oh, okay. I found. Wait, I will create stacked impact um, using my inspiration and ambition to focus on one goal in the next two weeks and in doing so also achieve this sentence sounds weird <laughs> uh, also achieve helping other women to discover their dormant erotic power and feel more confident in their daily life. Wow, that sounds really good too. Thank you. That's awesome. 
Yeah. So I think, you know, we get the gist of it, right? I know it sounds a little funky and Laura, you have it totally right. This is what I said in the very beginning. It's hard to be honest. It's hard to be earnest and it's hard to really put down the things that have real meaning or even know what it is that you mm -hmm. find real meaning in. Um, so this is something that you do have to do continuously. So like I said, I've done this before a couple of times and every time I do it again, I can really bring myself to a better, more honest place and then create something that really resonates with me. Um, and I do this one pretty often with um, career more because everyone's yeah. you know, in career, you kind of go, especially the days when you wake up and you go, wait, why am I waking up for this job? And then you can really look at that mission statement and go, oh, okay, am I doing that? I am, okay, cool, then let's go for it. And yeah. if it doesn't, yeah, you should do it. That's so great. So what are you guys thinking? <laughs> What's the overall thoughts on that? I mean, like I said, I just think it's fantastic to have that kind of awareness. Um, like, I think it's easy to have your day-to-day, -day, not even where you're not motivated, but also where you're just like forgetting your bigger picture. And it's, um, I think it's a healthy exercise and it's probably something that needs getting those things and getting those things to spend a, time, a little bit of time talking to yourself are the things you really want. So it's fantastic. Yeah. I agree. Um, it's interesting that um, this exercise, because we were taking the different bits and like you said we co kind of combined career with personal stuff it felt a little bit like that um game where you draw a head and then you do you know do you know what i mean then you roll the paper and then somebody draws the um, the rest of the body and then, then they draw basically you come up with a person but the thing is it's a powerful person it's stuff that's within you stuff that you really uh, want to focus on and I'm thinking about maybe you know changing the the visa thing although the visa thing is a very very big thing that I would love to achieve um, but basically rewriting it a little bit and putting it on my mirror and seeing it every day like you said to remind yourself why you're doing this stuff Mm -hmm. Yeah, my one tip too is that for the lifetime stuff, yeah, think of stuff that, that's really, really personal to you. What do you want to see for some people? It could be, uh, like I said, I want to see myself living in different places, or for other people, I want to see myself having a certain kind of lifestyle. I want to see myself um, having a certain kind of partner. I want to see myself um, connecting with certain kinds of people. So it can be really, really, really personal um, instead of being so global like we kept it tonight. Mm -hmm. We're global kind of girls. <laughs> uh, but I just want to say thank you all for being open to doing this at all, for being um, available for coming together, especially so late for some of you. Um, and I'm just so grateful to, to have a chance to connect with some of you. I know some of you, and this is our first time uh, touching base, so thank you. Yeah. yeah, it was great to meet you, and thank you for uh, sharing this exercise. Yeah, thank you so much. Guys, and I don't know, Masha, do you want to share anything else before we sign off? Um, yeah, I just wanted to say thank you as well. Um, it was really, real really, really powerful. And I hope the people watching us and uh, those people who will watch us in recording will also be able to use that and apply that to um, their own lives. Uh, but it's been amazing talking to all of you guys uh, today, especially because it's International Women's Day and we're wow. talking about... Woo! All Women. of those things. Woohoo! <laughs> and, and message us all. DM us. I think this is such a great exercise. Everybody that's watching, watching should totally do this. Like, just take some time. This was not that long. And then DM us your mission statement. I'm sure we all want to know, right, guys? Mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. Exactly. And the PDF is in the description, so you can access it there. Everybody. Yay! Thank you so much, guys. Um, Enjoy the rest of your evening night. Um, enjoy the rest of your International Women's Day and the rest of your International Women's Week. <laughs> that Thank makes sense. You. Thank you so Women's much. Women's Month too. So, oh yes, Women's History Month. Seriously, amazing stuff. Thank you so much, and thank you for everybody who joined us and who has watched us um, talk. And um, we hope that you found it interesting and powerful. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for hosting it. It's also the Jedi Day.
throwing it out there. The what? Jedi. Uh. Jedi. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. It's, it's the same day as Women's Day because that's really cool. It's, like it's pretty symbolic and it seems very fitting. Yeah. Hell Especially yeah. all the congratulations are going out to all those Jedi women um, out there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you so that's much. Star Wars. That is Star Wars. Star Wars. <laughs> yeah. Good night, guys. Yeah. Thanks. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye.